welcome flip clock fans this should look familiar our last video we had this clock I actually bagged it up and boxed it up I was about done with it because this West clocks model 80132 was a new inbox but it came with a problem or well it developed a problem on video those two digits are leaning back that way because these holdbacks broke off and that happens to these clocks and a viewer lapis rabbit suggested that i fix it i didn't really want to but because i was frustrated maybe we'll learn something together so what we got to do is we've got to take the top of the case off after we get all the screws out carefully we don't want to break anything else although foreshadowing we actually do break something else during this see if you can figure out what that might be as we go along here anyway this mechanism is pretty for sure a Kentec type mechanism you can see the motor here that's the typical motor it's not a bad little motor I guess but again we know there's major issues with the mechanism and the holdbacks makes you wonder what were they thinking they just snap off and it's very common so if there were holdbacks here where my thumb is you can see it would actually I don't know if I can show you just having the holdbacks there would help keep everything in place once it gets lined out here So we've got to replace those. Now it's funny, there's two missing, and I can't find them at all. It's like they disintegrated or something. And I looked for them. The question is, what's the best way to fix those? The way I have come to fix them in the past is I use these zip ties. They're the right color, and they're the right uh, consistency. Now, the last time I did this, I actually tried to trim them down to match the size of the originals. But then I started thinking, well, wait a minute, the originals are whacked anyway. Why would I want to match them anyway? So I'm going to leave them the actual width of this zip tie. Now, what you're seeing here is I've used a brown sticky glue to put these in place. Just to double check that everything's going to be okay. I was going to keep just the sticky glue but I switch over to another type of system and I'll explain why I did that and just how that flipped it wasn't that wonky anyway once I got this in the clock I noticed something that the tab had broken off the hour as well I couldn't believe it so instead of giving up I thought we got to get this fixed I'm not going to give up I already fixed the hour. Now here's how I did it and how I would recommend it. I've used super glue. Now that's inherently dangerous anytime you've got super glue around plastic. But I've, I've put a drop of super glue on there and I'm carefully getting it in place to match where the other one would have been. Trying not to get the super glue on the tiles, of course. Now if you see on the hour, I've actually already placed the hour. Now I'm putting a little extra super glue on the edges, sort of like welding. Sorry for the hand being in the way, but now what I'm doing now is I'm putting a white powdery substance, and it is baking soda, and that makes the super glue cure very quickly. And everything seems to have stayed in place where I want it. So we'll do the minutes as well in the same way. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's the same process. So once we get that in place, looks like everything's going to be okay. In fact, once this is in the clock, you're not even going to be able to see those. And in fact, I think it actually looks better than the original. So there it is. We're going to let it flip over and see what we've got. It's got a weird way of flipping. So you can see, you can't even see those things. I mean, if you look, you can sort of see them but they fit in well. So that's what I would recommend. I can't even pick them out, but they're there. Anyway, as you see, it's just got a weird way of flipping. We'll go ahead and take a look at how it flips over on the hour. 
Thanks for taking the time.